welcome, welcome, welcome back to the 108 Podcast, episode four, man. I'm your host, Dave Hustle. I got my boys in the building. Mm-hmm. You already know, think like Vegas. It's your boy, Mark Black. And we back, man. You know what I'm saying? We took a little week off. You know what I'm saying? Technical difficulties and things. has a lot of to do. But we back. You feel me? And a lot of stuff has popped off since we were last here with y'all. You feel me? Like, we had the Super Bowl, mm-hmm. All-Star Weekend. Mm-hmm. Damn, we ain't doing nothing since the Super Bowl. I mean, we seen each other, but we ain't. You know what I'm saying? We, we ain't doing no show. I don't know. Ain't the show since the Super Bowl. Since before the Super Bowl. Before the Super Bowl. God, that, damn. That, that, that Thursday before the Super Bowl was the last show mm. that we did. You know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. But we back though. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Like, yeah. as far as the Super Bowl, how y'all felt about the outcome of that? Make this quick. Talk about this quick. Cause you know what I'm saying? That's what I wanted. Then I say the Rams last time. You said the Rams. I, I said Cincinnati. I said Cincinnati. That shit was That's close, though. Backup. I took them straight up. I should have fucking... Um, that shit was close, though. I should have took them with the spread because they gave them four. They definitely points. gave them four. And they go, Ooh, they got you the money, boy. But listen, at the end of the day, right? Like, I wanted Cincinnati. Cincinnati could have won that shit. Yeah. That was a good-ass game. That was a good-ass game. Let's give it a dollar. Cincinnati could have won that shit. You feel me? That shit could have went either way. So, shots to whoever voted in, <laughs> in the Rams' favor. And shots to whoever uh, betted in the uh, the Bengals' favor as far as the points are concerned. You know what I'm saying? What y'all think about Odell Beckham? Smart. That's what I'm saying. I thought that I thought they was gonna lose real quick a little bit just on the strength, right. like they lost him hurt. and yeah, like yeah. I'm glad he still crazy. got it. And bro. how he was passing for a minute, Stafford. It's smeared, like because like he hurt. You know what I'm saying whatever, but you got your chips. So what can they say now, Odizi? Uh-huh. Yeah. But. Uh, as far as him, like, it's like, you done? Nah. Not done? I mean, nah, I, what did not. they say what it was? Because I don't think I, I, I read it. Hey, I think it's MCL, ACL, just blew out his knee. Niggas yeah. come back from that. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Niggas come back from that. He might not be the same nigga, but yeah, guess so what? I got, my, I got my Super Bowl already, so what right, What? Right, what can right. you niggas say? Yeah, right. Everything else is extra right now. But honestly, That's right, like, Aaron Donald won uh, that game for the Rams, in my opinion. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Yeah, cause that that the last few defensive stance stances, mm. that man had wild sacks, bro. Mm. You feel me? Like yeah. defense wins championships, man. All that offense <laughs> shit pretty. To to you know what I'm saying the defense, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, Come shut some shit though, down. Definitely need the defense. Yo, shout out to my man Cheeto, um, downtown with the juice mm-hmm. bar. This fucking soup he got right here. What's joint called? Hugitos? Who got Hugitos? Hugitos? What up? Damn, what's the name of that? I can't think of the name, but I just know because that's my man Cheeto, but it's right across the street. What, Don Gino? Yeah, from the Hugitos. Um, they used to shoot videos The J first and then the yeah, G is on it. Yeah, like, yeah. I didn't know how to say that shit. They used to shoot videos and shit. They used to shoot my videos. Yeah. Also, also, man. Yeah, he yeah. got the juice Yo, man. Yo. Yeah, that's my guy. Cheeto, man. Shout out to you, my G. I ain't yeah. seen you in a minute. You say you know I fuck with Oso all day, man. Shouts to Senator Oso, man. But we ain't gotta go into all that. You know what I'm saying? Senator Oso, salute to you, man. All right, all right Senator sir, Oso. Sir. But yeah, this soup is crack. I don't even know what it is. I was about to ask you. I've been seeing mad cats go down there and fucking um and get stuff from there. Like, all healthy shit, shit too. Yeah. That shit's that shit in the cut. Show. Fire. See, I'm not totally on my healthy wave yet, but when I come and get there, I will be there to come get you, get a drink yeah. from you guys. And they gave me a little smoothie to go with it. Man, that's what's up. Bobby, right. shout out to y'all, man. But then, like this past weekend, we had a uh, All Star weekend. Hit that. Yeah. Now, mind you, right? Like they kind of try to switch the All Star shit up a little this year, right? Because mind you, I don't know if y'all really be watching it. Like the whole shit, like you know, it starts on like Friday, Friday night. You know what I'm saying yeah. they have the uh, celebrity game. Mm-hmm. Then they have the the rookie the rookies the rookie challenge. Yeah. You know what I'm saying the rising it's, it's called the rising stars that. challenge now. Yeah. But they switched it up this year. They had instead of two different teams, they had four different teams. Mm-hmm. So you feel me? Like, and it was all coached by a different legend. Like they had Isaiah had a team. Right. Oh, fucking shit. uh, <clears throat> uh, Worthy had a team. It was two other two other OGs that had teams. I don't want to say the wrong names. They so. got to pick their teams. I don't think so. I was, it was a pool of players. Right. Here go your, here go your, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But long story, I'm good at that. I'm going to stay on my paper. I'm, I, I'm, I just, you know, he since the last episode, I stopped smoking movies. cigarettes. Mm. So I'm not fucking with no yeah. tobacco at all. Like, yeah. my grab, a little bit of grabber, but I'm not fucking with no yeah. raps or nothing like that. So salute to that. Mm-hmm. But, um, Facts. uh, what was I just saying so, about so good the, how they switched up the, the, the games and stuff? So the game was different. It was four different teams. 
These two teams play each other first. The winners play each other in the championship. So that was pretty dope. Then they had the um the three point on, on the, over the weekend. The, Who ended up winning the three point joint? A big um, man, Towns. Yeah, Carl Anthony Towns, Towns. Towns. Yeah. Yeah. won the that three point great. competition. That was crazy. So for all you niggas, all you guards, that was the three point competition. <laughs> Right. Bro, you should feel ashamed of yourself, bro. Yeah, you let him. Man. Don't get me wrong. Towns can shoot. He, sh- he, he shoot. He but made bro. like he had like at least like eight more points than the. Yeah, he broke. Yeah, he made yeah, a, he yeah. broke a record of shit with, with his little the, the the shit. I think he had like twenty eight or whatever. Yeah. But long story short, I don't give a motherfuck, nigga. Mm-hmm. I ain't let no big nigga shoot better than me, bro. <laughs> when I I don't play basketball like that no more because I'm old. But when I was really out there trying to play, I wasn't letting no big nigga shoot threes better than me. Yeah, that nigga. Violent. But salute to, yeah, salute the salute cat. to him for winning that. Salute the cat. Because cat, cat now niggas had a tumultuous. More. Cat had a right. tumultuous COVID. Yeah. Lot, you know what I'm saying? Lost his mom. Dukes, a lot yeah. of family members. I think salute he, the cat. I think he said that too. In the, when I think he hit a shot. He was like, that was for my mom or something like that. So salute the cat, yeah, man. For real, man. for real. I rock with you. Your game is, is impeccable. I ain't, it's no knock to you. It's a knock to them guards. That was out there breaking, sticking up the joint. You feel me? Letting you win. Yeah. You know what I mean? But then we the slam dunk, man. Like, I don't want to give too much to this segment, but the slam dunk was boo-boo. That shit was boo-boo tit. Yeah. It was definitely well, probably like always, but get to that one. it was definitely Wild more goddamn, time. definitely more Brixton hits. I know that shit. That. And by you. The shit about it is, right? They had some names, bro. I thought Jalen Green was about to go ham on them niggas, son. Like, he right. be having some in-game dunks that look crazy. That was man. the worst one, right? Yeah, he should have <laughs> been the one that was taking up his man, the man, His man was throwing it off the fucking side, fucked up. and That too, it would be shit like that. But yeah. you know what I, I don't like? This is what I really don't like. I don't like the, the fact that the niggas that we really, really want to get oh, yeah. in the slam dunk don't yeah. never be in this shit. Right, right. Like, it's, right now, like I'm not even... LeBron, I'm not even asking you to be in this shit, Brian. Bro, you dumb old. Yeah. You feel me? Yeah. But like the young cats, niggas like Anthony Edwards, the play for the Minnesota mm-hmm. Timberwolves. Bro, I seen you got some in-game dunks on it. niggas. Yeah. That's wild, bro. Can I get one slam dunk out of you? <laughs> yeah, one, bro. Be- See, he said he's just an in-game slam. Yeah, yeah, fuck all that. No, fuck all that. Let me be the judge of that. Let us be the judge of that. Nigga, good, try to put I know you can throw some shit. some shit, right? Because he's going to fuck around and win just like anybody. Right? Kobe's and the Jordans. And... Listen, bro. Carl Anthony Towns <laughs> just won the goddamn three-point competition, nigga. Anything can happen. Yeah, you see um, Michael Jordan uh, slap... Uh... Mary J. Mary J. Oh, yeah, he, he got the booty. He cuffed it. He cuffed it. Mike was like this, the Covington. Right. You feel me? But Mike I, been watching Power. Did you, yo, did you see when um him and Magic Johnson was we talking? Saw this nigga put the shoes Isaiah, on right there. No, 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 no. Oh, yeah, I saw that part. Isaiah Thomas, when he, Isaiah Thomas get, came over there and gave him that to Magic Johnson, Michael Jordan was in back of him. As soon as he, they left, as soon as he left, they was like, Whispering and shit. Like, yeah, he that did. shit was funny as hell. About, about, about you Isaiah. You couldn't the tell for sure that they, they was talking yeah, about him. It was like right after. You know how niggas be. Yeah. 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 Fucking Isaiah. Niggas was cracking up and shit. Right. Crying on each other's backs and eight. But the defend Mike too, when he slapped um, MJ on the, um, on the ass. MJ to MJ, yeah. Yeah, yeah right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I said, like, I, I, he probably, like, Okay, obviously if it's a female, he hugged her and da da da. Well, I said the nigga used to slap an ass anyway. Well, hold on, no. You know, in the NBA, them niggas be. Nah, ah, he, ah, hold on, game, game. I seen the picture. He really slapped her ass, like in like I mean, video motion. Not like under, nah, just but just like just a cop on the yeah, picture, right? Yeah, yeah he was. But it was a natural, called, yeah. like damn, this this ass is here. And yeah, I might have let me test and the I'm water. Like, see if MJ, she, MJ, MJ, right, MJ to MJ. She was on that nigga a little bit. I mean, from what I said. Yeah, but nah, I was like. That's just normal basketball yeah, nigga shit that, too. Basketball etiquette, nigga. Good right, game. that's they it. They might got relationships. But it was like, he was like know. laughing with her. Like, like, man, man, man. I see you at the Super Bowl. Right, shit, boom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Big thing. You want to play football, they're going to be doing this. Right. <laughs> Listen, but look, right, like, did y'all see, like, I, those were all good parts to the bullshit, but there was another little part I seen where uh, Mike was like around, like, oh, some of the younger guys, and Magic mm-hmm. was like on the other side. And Mike was like, nigga, put your shoes on. Where your shoes at right now? Put them on right now. Let's get it cracking right now. Yeah, I seen that. You You feel me? Like, I love the fact that they still have that competitive nature in them. They still, like, still talking their shit to the end of the day. Mm -hmm. What I don't like, right, is that 
like, I did see a picture, so somebody did, like, contest this shit, that KG and, and, and Ray Allen, like, aren't, like, at peace. They should, oh, like, yeah. You feel me? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. But they took a picture later on with each other, but I'm telling you, like, yo, bro, when Ray Allen was walking up and we got the dap from Brian or whatever, was a natural KG reaction. Was, was not even giving that nigga that no nothing. I'm like, nigga. I wonder if somebody like, went up to I them like, yo, it. or they just They got to cut that shit out, bro. Yeah, At the end of the day, right, look, right, I understand, right? In the heat of this shit, yeah. y'all, you upset because, bro, we still trying to win these rings, right. and you going to fuck with the enemy. Mm-hmm. You feel me? So I understand that you fucking with the ops. Mm-hmm. But, bro, y'all niggas' careers is over with. Y'all did not come into this shit with each other. Right, right, You right. feel me? Mm-hmm. None of y'all niggas <laughs> ended y'all careers with each other. That's how so I just, feel. You feel me? Like, yo, yeah, for the like glory y'all had with each other? Yeah, respect for what it is, Yeah, nigga. we made it through Get that. Get over that shit. Yeah, we made I, it through and, that. I'm going to be honest. It's KG for it, man. KG, He's a fuck. He got a lot of attitude. That's my nigga, though. Yeah, he my nigga. It's the dog in him. It's the dog in dog. KG is. Nigga stubborn as hell. But you, but, but I know, what I've noticed, right, like since he's been on TV, YouTube, whatever, doing his little show on Showtime, yeah. I can see the growth. So hopefully yeah. with that growth in the next year or two, man, they can sit down, bro, because cut that shit out, bro. Yeah. Salute to the Celtics, bro. Y'all for, I'm from Massachusetts, bro. Yeah, I root for y'all. I did a Definitely lot for was me. was happy when y'all won. Dumb yeah. happy. I just came home from jail. I was dumb happy. So salute to y'all. 08 team. Real shit, man. Yeah. These niggas had a big three finally. Right. Yeah. Antoine, um, what was his name? Antoine Walker. Yeah, he was gone. No, he was a couple gone. niggas left. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. A couple niggas left. They was mm-hmm. rebuilding, basically. So, yeah, yeah, that's why I just got a ring, a ring with Miami and shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's We're right. shocking the biggest when they right. was down there. That's right. He said, I'm out of here. Fuck that piece. <laughs> but nah, real shit though, like, just salute to all the all the sports shit, man. Football season has come to an end. So you ain't got too much to bet on there over there no more. You feel yeah, me? Man. Yeah. Tom Brady retired. Uh, ah, Fucking yeah. uh that Aaron Rodgers is on the fence. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? We don't know what's gonna happen with might that. Might go to Denver, they saying. We'll oh, oh matter of fact. Let's talk about these trades that happen in the NBA. If mm. niggas is really on that like that, you feel me? Like, Let's mm. talk about it. All right. So, look. The major, major trade was James Harden uh, for Ben Simmons. Yeah. And there's two other players involved, too. But the two the two big mm. names in that trade is Ben, Har- ben, uh, ben Simmons James and James Harden. Harden. Mm. Now, mind you, right? I'm going to keep it a dollar. I like that trade a lot for both teams. Yeah. yeah. I like it more for Brooklyn because of the... The other players they got in it, they got Seth Curry. They got fucking, uh, yeah. it was another player they got other than Seth. Um, Andre Drummond. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, those those two yeah. players add a lot. But Ben Simmons, bro, to me. But if everybody come out, come back, do you think it's going to be crowded? Nah, not with that. Because, like, mind uh-huh. you, like, Seth is a off-the-ball nigga. Like, other niggas going to create for Seth. Yeah, yeah. You feel me? Like, mm-hmm. don't get me wrong. Like, while Simmons wasn't there with Philly, like, for this last little half a season, he was able to get, have a little more ball handling or whatever. But right. really, Seth is an off-the-ball nigga. Yeah, yeah. He, he's going to get set up by, by when niggas yeah. double KD, when niggas is doubling yeah, Kyrie, Seth going to get his shit off. You feel That's me? Fact. He ain't going to get as many shots, but he's going to get high-volume shots. Yeah. And they, you know what I'm saying? If he knock him down, they're going to count for some. Now, they need a backup center. They need a drumming. Drummond is going to give them nice minutes off the bench mm-hmm. <laughs> at the center percentage. I fuck with Drummond. And then, bro. nigga, Ben Simmons, to me, bro, is LeBron James without a jumper. Yeah, he's going to be the, yeah. he's the he's sleeper LeBron out James the whole thing. Like, he happy. I think both of them happy that they got traded. Yeah. Because yeah. yeah, yeah. honestly, right, look, this is real shit, right? I honestly believe when Harden first wanted to get the fuck out of Houston, I believe it when he said that he wanted to go to Philly. Because, mm-hmm. nigga, Philly had just hired the GM that was letting Harden basically do what the fuck he wanted in Houston. Daryl Morey. He's the he's the nigga, the analytics nigga. That wants niggas to shoot wild threes and shit like that. So when Harden was averaging 36 a game that fucking season, it's because Daryl Morey was like, nigga, let that nigga shoot as much as the fuck he want. Right. You feel me? So I think he was trying to go there initially, but they didn't even have, they didn't even have shit in Philly to get it. They wouldn't have had shit but Embiid left. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So mm-hmm. and don't get me wrong, they gave a lot up. To get them in, in Brooklyn, but they now still had Kyrie and KD. Now necessary. You feel like, me? Man. You still got Kyrie and KD. And that them two niggas alone, you can put them two niggas out there with some nobodies and go get a chip fucking around. You know what I mean? But, <laughs> but you know what I mean, Kyrie, oh, I did see that Kyrie might get a chance to come back and 
Like, yeah, they said. You know the everybody lift that like, band aid yeah, shit. You yeah. feel me? Mm-hmm. That's crazy. And he was popping shit, not popping shit like that, but saying, "See how they gonna look after the All Star break?" Yeah, you know cause nigga, I'm telling you, like, yo, when they supposed to lift it? Or they saying maybe the next two weeks. Next, I next think. two weeks, the the, the they supposed to lift it out here, here too, right? Yeah, Man, who knows? Yeah, but you know New York was very harsh on like yeah. you can't even go into no buildings yeah. or none of that yeah. shit without having the the, the the shot. So if they do that, it's looking ugly. The Nets gonna be looking quite wild. Uh, there was other trades that went on too, but they're not really discussable like that. Fuck them shits. Uh, <laughs> the nigga, the nigga Chris Paul got hurt. Damn, he hurt his. He hurt his. When he, he get hurt, he hurt right right before the All Star game. <coughs> oh, but then he shit. played in the All Star game just for like a second. Oh, but, he, but he already had the little this thing over his finger to show that he was hurt. But long story short, he might be out for the rest of the season. Mm. So with that being said, Damn. they in first right now in the Science, West. They gonna yeah. fuck around and lose that position. Yeah, he and control- Golden State might be in yeah. first place. I bet you this. Yeah, because right yeah, he controlled that shit. You feel there. me? He the reason. Oh, yeah. like, he made the niggas go from, yeah. I wouldn't say worse to first, but damn near worse yeah. to first. Yeah. You feel me? Yeah. <laughs> Facts. He's definitely one of the niggas that are... Could change your whole team, around, bro. Yeah. When, look, mind you, think about this. If y'all really watch sports, when he got traded to OKC a few years ago, he was like, oh, it's over for, for CP3. It's mm-hmm. a wrap. He went over there, nigga, and made the yeah, playoffs yeah, with them yeah, niggas. Yeah, yeah. Damn near was MVP with yeah, them niggas, bro. Like, for real, let's keep it a dollar. Okay, you know what I mean? CP3 is a different kind of nigga, man. For real. I, lo- I love your nickname, by the way. From Jump, nigga, you feel me? <laughs> for real. Like, we fucked with no limit in them niggas. You feel me? <laughs> so you and Candace Parker, both of y'all niggas are CP3s. Salute to y'all niggas. You know what I'm saying? But um, that's just going to be big. I just think, I really think Golden State going to end up in first. What you think about LA? <laughs> I can't even say that right now. Yo. AD got hurt I see how for the rest of the season. So AD. Everybody tired of AD right yeah, now. Yeah. Niggas still with him. He... He really getting hurt too much. Like, because that nigga no don't shit play like his this, position, man. yo. Like, ain't he a center, right? Yeah. Well, he playing the four now? Well, he is the four. He is a four. He's a four. He but, don't be trying to play the center. He don't want to play the center because he's yeah. too... He's, he's, nigga. That's why his ass be getting hurt. Because he be at the top of the key. Not even that, though. He got hurt. This is how I think he got hurt. He hurt his ankle. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Now, mind you, right? When we were growing up, around. right? Now, give me this, fellas. Mm-hmm. When we was growing up, right? Did we wear low cut sneakers to play basketball? Hell no. no. Fuck no. no. I be seeing that. At shit all, too, right? Like, like at all. It was like that we, we never no. did that at all. So we like wore three quarters nigga. to play basketball. You feel me? Like, nigga, he hurt his ankle in a pair of Kobe's, the low cut yeah. Kobe's. Playing? Playing. He, that, he, yeah. These niggas be playing in low cut. Like, it's not just Should him. To the ankle, Most of these niggas like, got the play ankle. in low cut sneakers now. They're wild. You know what I'm saying? That's like. You know not to go on a court. Your yeah, man. If anybody, he should be switching it up. You know what I'm saying? You feel me? Big nigga, you a big nigga. You, like, the big niggas, y'all niggas get a lot of rebounds, a lot of blocks. I in the air a lot. You feel me? You, you got to have some three-quarter cut sneakers on to protect your angles. You feel me? And he don't take care of his body, bro. You went, you went motherfucking Superman. LeBron went around here looking like G.I. Bro <laughs> at 30, 37 years old. 36 years old. Yeah. I think he's 37 now. Like, he looking like G.I. Bro right now. Uh, yeah, yeah. You feel me? Facts. Perfect specimen. Shout out to LeBron. You made me win that G. Oh, see, he fucking with you now. <laughs> Shout out to LeBron. He fucking with you now. Put that, in, put that in the goddamn in the headline too, nigga. Oh, we fucking with LeBron now. You feel me? Nigga wants some bread for the nigga. That's what's up? But nah, nah real talk though. Like, like you win a perfect specimen, yo. You gotta, you gotta learn from the niggas you you playing with, bro. Like, like you you have a longer career, a better career if you take care of your body. The man, yeah. the man devotes two million to the body a year. That's heavy. You getting paid like forty? That's, you can't put two to your body. That's goat you talk, though. Like, that's where, gonna be that's over how Tom minute. Brady was. Tom Brady. Nigga, was. Listen, salute to mm-hmm. salute to Tom. Yo. Yeah, man. For real, that work into Tom. Body. On, nigga, when it comes to just like on paper and the like the like numbers overall, he that nigga. But Tom was not the, the he wasn't motherfucking the Peyton Manning coming out of college. Won the Heisman all the yeah. fucking acclaim. Tom Tom just worked harder than you niggas. What was he thirty six in the draft? Nigga, that nigga was like 70-something, yeah, nigga. Yeah, probably, Fuck you probably 76 or something you know like me? that. Nigga was, nigga had picked like eight, crazy. 76, 76 quarterbacks before this motherfucker. Quarterback you feel me? Wild quarterback before this nigga. <laughs> he was not supposed to be the nigga he became, yeah, but he worked yeah. harder than all you niggas. Yeah, facts. You feel yeah. me? I'm just That's what I can take from him. I do want to work harder than him. get injured, though, too. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Drew Bledsoe didn't get injured. He got hurt. It's all work. Guy got how to play it. Yeah. Guy had a plan for Tom Brady, and it worked right, out, man. Facts. You see the plan? Facts. 
Salute the time, man, for real, man. Like, mm -hmm. I don't give a fuck that you went down there and won one with Tampa. Mm -hmm. Guess what? I claim that one, too, because you still my quarterback, nigga. Facts. My quarterback. My quarterback. Mm -hmm. Shout out to T.O., nigga. You feel me? Word. But nah, fellas, man, like, so what we looking forward, man, to, like, on the second half of this NBA season, man, what y'all looking forward to? Golden State, man, like I told y'all last Damn, time, Steph Curry State. video out right now, go watch that. But Flash. yeah, Golden State, man. Golden State. I think Steph had 50 in the All-Star game, bro. Crazy, yeah. yo. You feel me? Yo, I wanted him he was to break showing that out, shit. yo. I wanted him he to was break that shit. Out. I wanted him to break it too, yeah. right? But look, how, how fucking dope, this is how dope, like, God, the world, like, mind you, a lot of niggas don't know that Steph was born in Akron. Right, yeah. yeah. Same yeah, hospital yeah, as LeBron. Yeah, yeah. Because his dad crazy. played his dad played. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And so he was born in Akron. You feel me? So, so both kids from Akron showed their ass in that game. LeBron right. had the game winner. Steph got the MVP. I know I ain't the first nigga to point this out to y'all. I know I ain't the only nigga to know this shit. Mm -hmm. but, I, but, I mean, I'm happy to know it. And I'm like, y'all niggas that don't know, no. You feel right, me? Like, right, right. Real talk. I ain't know. Yeah, nah, that's fire. <laughs> that's fire right there. You feel me? Like, the two kids from Akron, man, showed their ass, bro. That's dope. And they booed Steph. Like, these niggas oh, is still yeah. salty because he beat them niggas in the finals two years <laughs> and triple, three times, honestly. You know what I'm saying? All his chips is against, against Cleveland. That shit just made me think, not to cut it into something else, that made me think about, Um, I watched it last night, when Kobe got booed by Philadelphia when he won the MVP. You know what I'm saying? He That's was sad, for real. He yeah. was sad, yeah. nigga, like yeah. sad. Yeah. Nah, Kobe took everything yeah. to... Yo, listen, bro. I remember... Like, not to go on strictly off topic, man. R.I.P. the code, too, for real, for real. Yeah. I remember when, and not to bring up this negative shit, man, but when when he was getting the, ac the accusations out there in Denver. Yeah. Mm. You feel me? Like, the whole world turned on mm. that man, bro. Mm. Like, the whole world. <clears throat> the whole shit. world. The whole world. Yeah. Thought it was over for his ass. And he just stayed down. And still, motherfuckers, they try to bring it up now that he's dead. Yeah. They weren't even bringing it up, like, Later right, right, on in his right. life, but, but, but they bringing it up. But now thank God that he was able to reason. redeem himself and get his career back on track. Yeah. Because word of mother, I'm gonna keep it real. When that happened, I thought that shit was a wrap for my yeah. nigga being like, oh my god, what the they good, got him with that? The good thing about Kobe though, like even if you say his name today, that's not the first thing you think about when you think about nah, that man. Facts. You think you about him like, being an animal, like, think of being cutthroat, yeah, they cut your throat out there, bro. Baby Jordan, pull up that's the road. Fadeaways on six niggas. It ain't even six niggas on the other team. It's five right. up there. You feel me? He pulled up on six niggas. Mm -hmm. One of his players is right there. He pulled up on that nigga too. You feel me? <laughs> Yo, that shit's really crazy that everybody used to try to be like Mike and he really perfected that shit out of everybody. Fox, like, he figured it out. Yeah. Like, he figured it out. I think he took some of Mike DNA. Everybody was. I don't go for it. They took some of Mike DNA. They, they, they was trying to do that. They proclaimed yeah. everybody to be the next Jordan nigga from Harold Miner <laughs> to... Fucking, this mad niggas, oh, right? Let's yeah, hear yeah. all these fucking bum ass niggas, but Damn. none of the niggas lives up to it. Kobe, Kobe, you got the closest, bro. You got five of them things. Stop comparing LeBron to Mike. They're two different kind of players. Way, uh, you feel way me? different. But, but their impacts on the game is both the same. Yeah, so. that's a fact. Yeah. You that's feel me? Fact. I agree. Word. So who's the greatest of all times? There Jordan is no greatest, man. There's, this is a lot of greatness. Yeah. That's, you know the, that's it, the real talk. It's no, though. it's no right. greatest, bro. It's a, and we just got to witness a whole bunch of greatness, nigga. Yeah. Why we got to sit here always trying to make one other than better than the other one, right? right. If they played during the same time, that'd yeah, be a better the, way to compare. That's, but we the, can't. that's the problem. It's you not can't compare the same time. these eras, like, like so mind you, to speak about the, the NBA 75th anniversary shit, right? It's a lot of dudes on that team that we never heard of in our life at all, right. and they probably couldn't even fuck with. Some of the the bitch players yeah. of the era right now. Real shit, though. Don't you feel Real me? Shit. Yeah. But Real shit. they did they thing in they era. era yeah. You feel me? So we can't be comparing eras. So that's where the problem always stems from. It's got to give them era. respect and shit. Like, Same thing with rap music. You gotta respect the eras. You know what I'm saying? Regardless. You feel me? Like I'm not I'm not taking away no nothing from no young rapper right now. That's doing their thing that's a little different than what the fuck we do. Right. I right, fuck with right. niggas that's different than what the fuck I do. Right. Like if you a little too different. You know what I mean? I might have to point out why you, why I ain't fucking with you because that shit's a little too, too different for me. But yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like, Let's say, for instance, like somebody that's on that list that, you know what I mean? And then a nigga like Jala Rent, 
What is it, Jay Morant? Yeah, Jay Morant. Jay Morant. Jay Morant. Say the right I'm saying shit. I'm still. You say Morant. Jay Morant, nigga. Jay Morant. Jay. Jay. I fuck with you, son. I been watching you since college, bro. Jay Morant, son. Yeah. Yeah, but I'm saying he's one of those niggas that's new that ain't gonna be on that list, but he's probably better than fat niggas on that list. Facts. Facts, bro. What's this to be? That top seventy-five list, right? Bro, T Mac ain't on that shit. How the fuck? Oh yeah, they was talking about some shit. Dwight Howard. Dwight Howard, nigga, his first, few, his first few seasons, like his first eight seasons. I mean, they let, he let, 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 let the media, is, part yeah. of the media fuck up that too, I feel like. You know what I'm saying? I How just, niggas just come hard on him and act yeah. like he was, he been slacking lately. Right, right, right. Yeah, right. He, yeah, hey, yeah, the fact that he even still around, yeah. y'all should give him props for that. And I can't even say slacking lately, just like. shape. He never lost his shape, yo. But that nigga was getting like, like, he'll get easy 28 and fucking 14 boards, shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Like that. That nigga yeah. was a beast, nigga. Burn. For real, for real. That nigga was a beast. And then I found out later he supposed to be shorter than niggas was saying he was. Like, that's crazy. Mm. Like, 6'10 instead of, like... Oh, word? I thought he was, like, 7'1 or something at first. Damn. You know Howard? Like, a big nigga. Yeah. He, he like, 6'10. Nah, he's, like, 6'10. 6'10. 11. No bullshit. Yeah. That motherfucker looks tall. Like, yo. Think about it. Like, yo. He's so big, yeah. nigga. Yeah. But niggas back in the... Jackson. He ain't that old. But niggas back in the day used to play way... Smaller than what the fuck they actually was out there. Like, nigga, yeah. Charles Barkley yeah. was 6'5. Yeah, he said he was 6'7, 6'8. Yeah, 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 yeah. He was a big man. He was out there destroying no. big niggas that right. was really big niggas, bro. Right. You, Charles only 6'5. Exactly. You compared him to a big man. Nigga, he was a power forward. Yeah. You see a good you feel rebounds me? and all that. No, he, he led the league in rebounding for a lot of yeah. years. You feel me? Like, but you know what's crazy? Yeah, I got so Barkley. much respect for niggas like Barkley. Barkley like, is slept on. Like, a lot of niggas, like, <laughs> if you didn't never see the nigga actually play, you just think he's just a nigga that's talking, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Nah, Barkley but Barkley's nice. brother, because he ain't win no motherfucking the rings. to the fucking championship, yeah. nigga. Just because he ain't win no time. rings. I want to put some respect on my nigga Sir Charles' name, damn, bro. remember when... Not the cut you got it, again, you got it, you but think. damn, remember when um you fucked with Kevin Johnson heavy? You had the nines and shit. I fucked with KJ. <laughs> I remember that too. You know I, mean? I fucked with KJ. I had the KJ. You feel know I me? Mean? <laughs> but now, like, I still was fucking with Mike and them. Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, I'm saying Kevin Johnson was lit. You know what I'm saying? Dan Marley and Biggs was lit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But we're real talk though. Marley. The nigga, the nigga Charles Barkley was a fucking beast, bro. Take it from a nigga that actually got to see it. For real, that nigga was a fucking animal out here, bro. Putting nice. in work. Mm -hmm. Nigga won an MVP. While Mike was out here. Mm -hmm. When he was with Phoenix, he won an MVP with Phoenix, bro. Don't get it fucked up, bro. Mike was out here. It wasn't like Mike wasn't around. <laughs> you feel me? Two <laughs> niggas won that shit when Mike was actually around. I got to say, they earned it. Carmelo, he won that shit when Mike was around. And Barkley, you feel me? Carmelo's a slept on person, too. Yeah, he is. Adidas. Mm -hmm. Sneaker brand, right? Mm -hmm. For so many years, right? They've been trying to like get us to buy their sneakers through athletes. Right. But mm. the only way niggas really be buying Adidas is when rappers fuck with them. Mm -hmm. Think about that shit, yo. <laughs> That's a fact. Adidas needs to just literally just go put give rappers deals. Right. Stop trying to give basketball players deals. Cause let's keep it a dollar, right? Mm -mm. Did you have the Kobe's? The Kobe Adidas. My favorite player, I still ain't got them shits. You feel me? Mm -hmm. I think Wade's had them back in the day. Not, n not by choice. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, so. Wade's had them shits back in the day. But you know what I'm saying? Like, n niggas wasn't really jacking those Kobe Adidas. Mm -hmm. The T-Mac Adidas. The right. James Harden Adidas. I think Dame Lillard down with Adidas. I don't even know what, them what his sneakers look like. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you feel me? But I think he is. No but bullshit. real talk, right? You put, you put a rapper... And some goddamn Adidas. Yeah. Nigga, yeah. niggas is billionaires. Next thing you know, a nigga is a billionaire. That you said that because that's yeah. true as hell. You feel me? Run DMC. Yeah. Shell Toes. Shell Toes is still <laughs> lit. Shell Toes was lit before we was born. She's that's still crazy lit. How we like, it's crazy how we supported it. And when we was young, like thinking it was that rapper's product. Mm -hmm. That, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that yeah, athlete's like, product. Like, identify with him. We sure. didn't know that, like, we support it. I mean, we already in the realm of doing it now, so we don't yeah. like grew up doing it. But facts, like we gonna grab them Adidas because Run DMC got them on. Facts, and they blew it up so big, we thought it was theirs. Bro. I had a LA a LA Gear Michael Jackson sneaker. I don't know if he was making mad money off it or anything, right. but I got it because of him. Right, you know what I'm mm, and uh, the only ones who capitalized off that, like off of their own people, mm -hmm. was Fubu. 
And that was like, we was rocking FUBU. I mean, niggas, FUBU wasn't heavy, but niggas was rocking the FUBU. No, I was rocking with FUBU when they had yeah, the little yeah, fat Albert and all that shit. Yeah, the fat Albert, 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 Albert jeans. You know I, mean? I don't know about their sneakers, but... Yeah, I never rocked their sneakers, nah, but the clothes-wise, we definitely giving them a man while I love. And we rocked it because, you know, yeah. LL was flossing Word with it with the females. Man. For us, by us, You know what I mean? And, the, and that, 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 that logo was everything for us, by us. Facts, so, man. Shout out to um, shout out to FUBU for that, yo. Bro, that's a good pivot into this whole, um, speaking of this, you know what I'm saying? Motherfuckers that's in fashion and shit like that, man. Big shots out to Kanye. Shots to the documentary on Netflix. Mm-hmm. I've been I've been partaking, man. They, they just put out the second uh, installment of it what yesterday. Ooh, yeah, the second. You didn't watch the second one yet? Nah. Oh, see, it's up there. See, you were dropped, dropped it yesterday. Oh, yeah, that was busy. I was. Uh, <clears> you busy know, yesterday. I'm on it. You know what I'm saying I'm on it early. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So I already I already took that. into it. So I'm not gonna I'm not gonna go too too much like depth into the, the new one. Yeah. We can talk about the first the first yeah. um, installment they put out. Facts. And um, anything y'all wanna y'all wanna highlight about it? I haven't seen it yet, but I want I only seen clips. Yeah, well, we, we you, you can pivot yeah. off the thing we say. I, I've been hearing it's good as hell though. Everybody's nah, it's saying definitely it's dope. good. I, like you said, it give you a new love for Kanye and a new like a new um, reason to like understand Kanye. Mm-hmm. Like definitely like he was trying to get on, and nobody was like. Really showing him heavy love, like he was in the mix though, which was good. It was he good. Was in the mix. It was good. He was mm-hmm. in that era where he could like be around the people, like mm-hmm. in New York and walking in Def Jam and running yeah. in the offices. Like Can they I was in, they was in there having like regular conversations on the phone. He just go in there and put his tape in the radio oh, listen, and bro, just play bro, that shit, bro. He's playing. <laughs> Shit, that's end up being a Grammy fucking war winning song. They ain't fucking and they showing, are ignoring they showing us, and they are ignoring him. Yeah, ignoring They're not even that. fucking acknowledging the fact this man is playing this shit. Yo, he was playing Jesus walks for a minute. He was playing Jesus walks for a minute. Yo, like nigga, the nigga they showed this. They showed this one scene, right? Like, um, he was trying to get uh, get face, get face some beats, and try to get face and jump on some shit. <laughs> Mm-hmm. And he played that he 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 he, he played his nigga a beat and then he rapped um uh, what the fuck was it uh the, the family reunion verse or the family reunion joint yeah mm-hmm. but the For nigga real? yeah but the, the nigga Kanye took out his fucking yeah. his uh Tephasis. not his Tephasis, his yeah. fucking the, uh, um, dentures not the dentures but the what are they call it. Oh, uh, you know how when you got um, braces and shit? Retainer. Put, retainer. Retainer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where yeah, my yeah. mother, nigga, took out his retainer, had the retainer, like, right there, like, on the, like, the speaker area. <laughs> and nigga face was like, yo, that shit don't go there, nigga. Like, like, what you like, like, that, that, that was that old granddaddy South. Where the mother, that down <laughs> South shit, where the mother. But it's crazy how he was supposed to be on Jesus Walks. Yeah, he wanted him on yeah. Jesus Walks. He wanted to put him on that. Like, it's just like, like, nigga, like, like, I, even on the, the newer one, right? Like, I'm gonna say this. I, I don't know if niggas notice this shit, but me and my girlfriend was was Kanye's song, bro. Mm-hmm. Hope took that word. Facts. Dude. That was that was Kanye's shit. Not bro. the lyrics though. Not not the the hook. The hook. The hook. The hook, the nigga, the hook, the concept yeah, I was see this. That. I can see that. You feel me? I can see yeah. that. The hook, the concept that, was this, early, nigga. Like early Kanye. I can see that. That's like yo. That's what I'm saying. It's weird when niggas be talking about like. Kanye got ghostwriters and shit, yo, because, bro, not in the beginning. I don't give a nah, fuck. Like, it's like with Drake. Like, even if Drake got a ghostwriter now, bro, yeah, not in the not beginning. These niggas writing their own on, shit. You, know yeah, you feel yeah. me? They passion. They own shit is what got them on. And his passion and his, and his, his refusal his to be told no. Yeah. I love that about that man. But it was crazy because, like, when, we, when you're watching it, you can feel, like, the pain of the no, like, everyone saying no to that man. Like, how did he really, really just keep going on? Like, you got to be at some point thinking, like, damn, I might not have it. Because he knew he and had he it. he never, ever felt like he did not, like, he knew he, he had never it, had bro. it, yo. Like, he knew part of it, he man, had it. He had to eat, too. So, probably once he started making a couple dollars off beats, it's like, I got to pay my rent. And yeah. Little, I mean, you gotta that's what he was talking so. about, man. Stay in this Listen, mix, nigga. On the second installment, right? They show him in the studio with Pharrell for the first time. Mm-hmm. And he's playing Pharrell some of the joints, bro. Like, like yo, <clears throat> like we both, we, we all do music. You feel me? You know when when you when somebody play you a, a record or a song or a verse or they, they might spit some shit to you 
and that shit is so grease that yeah. you just walk off. <laughs> you don't got no word. You <laughs> Yo. just, you just yeah, like yeah, you just I... get one of these. You just walk away, <laughs> bro. That's what that's what this nigga did. Cause that nigga, yeah, yo, bro. But why? Speaking of walking off, nigga, why did Scarface walk out? Walk Mommy, out. Nigga made some good, some good smooth moves in that nigga. Yo, that nigga walked out the studio session and never came back. Or the mother? Did y'all see um his interview when he was displaying yeah, yeah, yeah. his side? Yeah, that nigga yeah. was lying. His face, excuse me. He said I he had you, something to do. He can't I know you're a legend face, but you was lying. Yeah, you just curved my man's shit. It's all good, though. Because you got back right with him later on and shit, but... Right. You know what I'm saying? It was, it was curvature right there. It was curvature. But, like, man, like, another part of that shit that was super dope, right? And the first installment is, man... His, him and his interaction with, with his, his mother. Yeah. yeah. Like, yo, bro, listen to me. Like, yo, when I tell you, right... Man, and, and, and Ma, if you watch this, this is no knock on you, man. I love you to death. But this is real shit. The man's mother knew lyrics of his that he forgot. Yeah. Mm. My mama ain't never knew, recited a nigga rap, bro. You feel me? Like, mama. You know what I mean? And that's, a not, that's no knock on you, Ma. You feel me? Because I wasn't really like mixing the two like that. But for real, mm. Kanye's mom... I now I remember that it makes me remember not even like I like I, I kind of forgot. I didn't say I didn't know. I forgot that man. This man is from his mother. Yeah, right. You right, feel me? Right, like right. like she was a valuable part of his life. Oh yeah. You feel me? <laughs> like for real, for real. So that confidence he got come from even her. Way, she instilled in him. Even the way she was saying his name all the time, like even the, like the way she said his name. He had to feel like I'm gonna be somebody else. Nah, I mean, right? so even the way she was saying his name all the time, like the way she just spoke to him, bro. Yeah, you feel me? Like, yeah. like, like. And if any, if I say anything, man, this is parents. Cause we grown. Anybody that's watching this, I hope y'all grown. Like we ain't one of the little ass kids watching this shit. If y'all watching it, salute to y'all. But for the grown ups, man, take something from that, man. Like yeah. instill that in your kids, that confidence. Oh, absolutely. Right. Be involved absolutely. in what your kids is involved in. Mm-hmm. Show passion to what they passionate in. It's about you feel me because I'm telling you like sure. it's gonna give them a whole nother confidence in what they doing. If you believe in them, shoot man, can't nobody tell them nothing. That's why like, literally <laughs> Kanye had a song. You can't tell me nothing because right. you feel me. His mama instilled that in him, and but she also told him to be humble too. Yeah, you feel me? What she mm-hmm. say? You could be in the air. You could be in the air, but still be on the ground at the, the same, same time. time. Okay, you feel me? Yeah. Or the mother, you feel me? So like for real, for real, like and that's real shit. Like you could be in the air. But that's what I'm saying, like the giant, he said the giant, something about a giant, so I don't want to quote oh, it wrong. the giant looks in the mirror and sees nobody? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Or where the mother, like, that's real shit. She was spitting bars, Yeah, too. nigga, what? Donda had yeah, bars. Yeah, Donda definitely Donda had bars. bars, man. Salute to, <laughs> salute to Donda West, man. R.I.P. Donda West, man. Absolutely. For real. Absolutely. Like, but that, that, that shit right was there. dope, yo. Like, I, I'm looking forward to uh, next, I think Thursday, Wednesday, or whatever. When, it, when the next one comes out, I think Wednesday it is. So, are they dropping them every month? Every, no, nah, every week. Every week? Every week. I, I, I think it's a three-part installment. I think after this third uh, one, that, it ain't going to go too much deeper. Shout out to his mans for recording all this Yeah, shit. man. Oh, man. Like, they got... Yo, bro, like... Word. It's me and my girl. We was watching the second part yesterday, right? And you you remember the um in a, the Through the Wire video? Mm-hmm. And it had um uh, D-Ray in the shit. Yeah. He was like, without an R, my spit. Without an R, my spit. Yeah. Like, yeah. when that part... Hold it. Now, mind you, look, this is all from the, the documentary, though. Mm-hmm. Like, that whole video, that whole video is the front, is footage from the documentary. That's fire. You feel me? Uh-huh. So, when, when that part was coming up in the documentary, I'm saying this shit, like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. My girl, how you know this shit? Because I already seen this shit from the video. Like, yeah, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah. Classic. Niggas was paying attention to this shit then. Like, you know what I mean? First like, video. Damn. Word. I remember, official, I remember seeing this shit, like, yo, bro, this nigga, I think, I, I think we might have been down south, too. No bullshit, please. But yeah, this nigga got to the accident, nigga, and really went and recorded this song. You know what's so crazy, though? Jaw wire. Watching him was like, you never knew when he had the accident. Because his mouth was always kind of like... Yeah, he always had he that. He always had like... Jaw was kind of funny a little, little bit, yeah. Right. But you can really see it more like after. Okay. Like watching the documentary, watching the second installment, yeah. that's when they really go into it. Yeah. You can really, so really see the that accident? shit. Not show they, the they don't show the accident, but they but show so how his face looked. They right. show him going in there. Okay. Getting the fucking not the not the, the, the whole shit pulled like, out. The first one he was talking like real. I'm quite probably because of the braces, but mm-hmm. like even the first one, his mouth was like a different a different tone too. Once you could put shit in order, you realize and shit. Yeah, yeah. 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 and it might be like that's that Chicago shit too. Them niggas talk weird anyway. Yeah. Like, I ain't trying to knock y'all slang, but y'all shit a little different. You feel me? Yeah. Like from what I'm used to at least. Facts, facts. Yeah, you can see that shit all on that nigga. 
Like, looking back, like, the nigga you think about when you think about Kanye now, like, he was like a fan that jumped on the shit later on. Yeah. Like, you think about the Louis Vuitton Don, but he wasn't always the Louis Vuitton mm-hmm. Don, bro. That nigga was polo the fuck yeah, out. Yeah, he was back. really Chicago, he like, for real, for real. that shit, though, too, even... Like, as far as, like, when he got down with The Rock and he was trying to be like them and shit, wearing yeah. jerseys and shit, that um, was style. Nah, well, who's, who said they brought the Jordan jerseys to The Rock? And that. Damn, I was watching the, uh, oh, Fab. Fab said he the one who um, brought the throwbacks and then they kind of took that nah, from he kinda, him. He definitely had he this shit lit. Yeah, I'm early. even a hundred. I think it was some early. tour they was on and Fab was like... He would wear them, and then he put Jay onto him, and then Jay started going to grab him, and then everybody else started going. To he grab said him. that shit. Where the mother? I, I yeah, know. but um, it might be true. I don't know. I mean, like I, he he might feel that way, but me personally, I just think that that's the thing to grab when you a rapper and you on tour going to cities. Just grab a fuck something that's familiar to their eyes, that's something familiar to your eyes that yeah. represent their city. Like, you know what I mean? Like, Fab one of them niggas, not to even, I'm not talking shit mm-hmm. about him because I fuck with Fab, but he's under Jay and them niggas. Like, as far as like coming yeah. up and watching yeah. their styles and even your flows and shit like that, he was watching them niggas. Brooklyn, yeah. all that shit. Like, I don't know who did the, the jerseys, next. man. Salute to whoever but he did broke, it. He broke it down. How, Fab, like, how Fab J to... and them, Cam and them. Probably, you know what I'm saying? Younger, definitely. Mm. That's the main one. Hey, man, salute to Jay-Z, Meek Mill, um, Lil Baby, and uh, Michael, whatever the fuck, Ruben, I think it is, from the Philadelphia 76ers. They just brought uh, Mitchell and Ness. Yeah, that's fire. Facts, since we spoke, speaking about jerseys and shit like that. Mm-hmm. So, uh, Hove said, you know what? Fab, you might have brought them shits back, nigga, but now I own the shits. No. That niggas got to go buy to bring them back again. So, holla. Yeah. Always a boss move for that, man. Word. Always boss shit. How you feel about the halftime show? Mace might have too. Shit. Um, <laughs> you said Mace. I'm saying like, I think it was that little look that he had back in the day as far yeah. as um the feel good video. Mm-hmm. It had the Mace jerseys and shit. The leather jerseys too. Yeah, the leather. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. That was like... Come on, yo. Let's give it a dollar, right? Style back. Um, Fat first album didn't come out to uh, 2001. Mm-hmm. And please, me and you had uh, jerseys yeah, before grade, that, I think. 10th, 9th grade. 10th, 11th grade. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. With our names on the back of them shit. So I it wasn't fat. Fat interview. can't take credit for that. Niggas has been wearing yeah. jerseys and shit. I got to find that interview. I'm trying to think who he was talking to. I mean, he helped keep it going. No, niggas going to talk their shit. Yeah, he kept He yeah. helped keep it going and shit. You know what I'm saying? But he wasn't. Nah. Can't, mm-hmm. I can't give you that. I can't give you that, bro. But you definitely stay drippy. Yeah. You definitely stay drip, dripped up. You feel me? Niggas. Dressing and shit. Mommy, ain't too many niggas dressing better than Fab. <laughs> That's a feeling in that. But fucking, um. Nigga wearing Aiko bracelets and shit, though. Huh? I don't know. Uh, All right, we're gonna leave it alone. You said Fab, what? Wearing, Fab wearing ankle bracelets. Anklets? For what? Anklets. Got anklets. Oh, like, like a style? Yeah. I'm saying, I mean, like, <laughs> I mean, look, I'm not, it's not for me, right? I like that. But if you got the bag. And you and you just want to get an ankle bracelet? That's how you was feeling that it's day. Like, it's, like, it's, like, it's, like, it's, like, it's a Gucci Louis Yo. ankle bracelet, or is it just regular? Nigga, just Jerry. Yeah, it's Jerry. It probably it's Jerry. It's probably, it's probably been getting up. You know what I'm saying? You know this fab, but like I said, like it, that's not for me. You know what I'm saying? If you got the bag and you feeling what that day? If you feeling like you want an ankle bracelet that day? <laughs> nigga, like, hey, you do your thing, like. Hey, I'm not mad at you. Like, I'm not doing it, but F-A-B that's what you want to do. Uh, uh, yeah. I ain't mad at a nigga, though. Like, some niggas going to do some shit I, I would never do. You feel me? But that, that, like, that don't, I, he ain't lose that many points with that shit for me. I still fuck with that. Just, yeah, he ain't lose that many yeah, points. You know what I'm saying? You, 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 it's niggas that lost points doing some shit out here. Like, yeah. Like, he ain't lose that many with that one. Right <laughs> yeah, it don't stand in motherfucking mind. Like, yo, Fab had an ankle bracelet. What though, about, so um, don't think about it, but. Conway wearing uh, the kilt. Is that what it's called? I'm saying, oh, maybe shit, he, I forgot about Maybe that. he was just trying to, like, like maybe on. he did an ancestry test recently. <laughs> and he found out he had, like, some Irish in him. You don't know. <laughs> hey, yo, put this kilt on, nigga. That's uh, what we do around here. Mm. Nigga, I ain't from here. Bro, I'm nah, I'm saying, saying like, what if he did an ancestry test? Sad. Y'all really ain't trying to put that into the, <laughs> nah, nah. To the you know what I'm saying, the chances of, like, niggas do, niggas do ancestry tests nowadays. 
<laughs> it might have came up, nigga. He might have been like ten percent Irish. So he going, he's like, like fuck it. I'm about to, I'm about to. <laughs> You know what I'm saying, mother? Yeah, you never know, honestly. You never you don't know, know why, like, but... Like, mind you, like, all right, Conway, I fuck with you, my G. Like, for real, for real. Y'all niggas, y'all niggas really helping to bring yeah, what really I awesome. do back. Yeah, so, yeah. thank you so fucking yeah, very much. I ain't stuff. trying to crack on you. Chris got jokes. I'm not trying to crack. <laughs> you feel me? Nah, but it was, just, it, it would be a question I would ask. I ain't trying yeah, to be funny. Yeah, well, I'm, it might sound like I'm trying to be funny, but I'm nah, really we'll trying talk, to give I'll you an honest motherfucking excuse, nigga. You feel me? Like... Maybe the yeah. man did an ancestry test and it said, nigga, he's some Irish in there. He ain't know. You feel me? And now he just want to embrace it. I'm going to embrace my shit. I'm going to get me a kill. And it might be <laughs> too, right? His brother be fucking with the wrestling shit. So maybe he was on his Roddy Roddy Piper shit that day. Hmm. And I just found out that his brother is, um... West Side Gun. Yeah, you know I that? just found that out. You know that? Because I thought Benny they Day was cousin? like family. Yeah, which, yeah, 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 yeah Benny yeah. Day cousin. But Who's I just found out they brothers. No, 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 I said his oh, brother said, liked yeah, wrestling. What's like done like oh, wrestling yeah. a lot. Like he, oh. he had a wrestling bar, name and shit, wrestling shit. You mm-hmm. feel me? Yeah, that could be, that would be dope. That little maybe, maybe he's on the right, 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 right shit that yeah, day. Yeah, that's something to ask. Like if we ever interview him, yeah. that would be dope. Something to ask. Like what niggas wouldn't even be trying to be funny. Like that's really a question. Like, yeah. like I think somebody like, did ask him. I I'm think somebody did. They ain't know how to ask it right. Like, you see, <laughs> yeah. you even let a nigga like me, like, like oh, bro, I know you was on your Roddy Roddy Piper shit that day. For real. Nah, nah, nigga. don't say that shit. Right, then he gonna don't take it. Don't say that. He's like, yeah, I was on my Rowdy. <laughs> Wrestling, right? My pipe. <laughs> <laughs> nigga. That, I'm gonna throw the throw nigga in the alley. That's <laughs> giving him an out. I ain't trying to fuck him up. I res- Do I respect that? <laughs> yes, nigga, that's good journalism. <laughs> it is, though. It's good journalism, bro. But if he ain't already said it, he, I think he explained it. it was just like something about fashion, you know. Well, yeah, um, those are steps in fashion that I'm personally not willing to take. Like, I don't even like niggas that 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 was back in the day that was like devoted to Nike, like hard body. Yeah. That tried to switch up and wear Adidas all the fucking time. Now mm-hmm. he was not rocking that shit, bro. <laughs> Fuck it, word. <laughs> well, you know, I just had this conversation with a motherfucker. I hope you watch this shit too. Word. <laughs> For real, I'm not. I'm not with that. Like all that switching up. Doing weird shit. I got so, a couple of Adidas joints, but I mean, I, shit, I wore my shit with Nikes, Jordans. I don't give a fuck. I don't do that. That's good look. I'm nigga, not doing no crossbred. Nigga, been doing it long enough not doing it. <laughs> I mean, I can do it. Nah, don't Once bullshit. in a while. Don't bullshit. Don't bullshit. But come nah, on, man. I love what um, Kanye, I mean Kanye, Conway, Benny the Butcher, all them niggas nice. And they Word. they staying true to the essence of hip hop. Right. I what like they do, I like that nigga. My favorite dude is um thirty eight special. Yeah, I like him. I, I too. like him a lot. Yo. I was a fan of him for a minute. You know how you had a moments with certain yeah. artists. Yeah, he definitely was. Like my I like Conway. For a Benny's cool, but thirty eight special for me is, is that yeah. nigga. That nigga be going in bar for bar, line for line, and he be dropping good uh, gems. Facts. You know what I'm saying? I like, fuck with. Uh, see, I fuck with. See, the shit is like, mind you, 38 Special been around. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But I'm going to keep it real. This Griselda shit mm. is what gave this nigga a resurgence to oh, me. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Because I wouldn't have known about him. Me it was fucking with definitely. Vinny yeah. has got me hearing him again. Yeah, you start listening to that him. Because that stabbing shot, him. that right, stabbing right. shot they had together, they did a joint mixtape. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Vinny and fucking 38. If you haven't heard it, man, go go listen to that because that shit fire. Yeah. And I'm telling you, like, I really fuck with that nigga. Like, I fuck with 38 hard, bro. Like, I like how... Yeah. I'm one of them niggas, right? I like to keep the same sound rhyming as mm-hmm. long as I can keep that shit going. Yeah. So if I keep it going for, like, the whole shit, mm-hmm. I will. You know what I'm saying? 38 yeah. one of them niggas will keep that shit going forever. Right, right, You know what right. I mean? And I love that about that nigga, yeah. man. For real, for real. Yeah. Dropping it. Eddie be saying some real shit. Yeah. Eddie make beats. Facts. Yeah, you feel yeah, me? make beats too. Yeah, Word. It's that. all around, all around hustling with it, man. Yeah, you feel yeah, me? Fuck with special, man. Salute to the real niggas like that, man. Salute to the niggas helping to keep that real rap alive. Cause man, goddamn, like it was a minute where I was thinking, like, yo, man, like, what the fuck is we gonna do? Like, <laughs> I, like I don't think I even want to rap no more because, like. These niggas don't want to hear us talk this real shit no more. Like, yeah. how do they not want to hear us talk this real shit? It's lyrical. It's I mean, that's the agenda for, like, the commercial shit, though. Like, they're not going to really push that yeah, shit on the radio. they trying to push it out, man. They got to push that. Like, I was... Bring I, that bullshit, man. man. Um, shout out to, you know, the high school that I just spoke to. And I was just basically yeah, just telling them, that. too. 
is like you know yeah, it's, a, it's, a, it's a agenda it's yeah. an agenda for the music to be targeted to um, a certain audience like they don't want to hear you hear about yourself and a you know and what you and what you're going through and they they want you to be tripped out mm -hmm. they want you to be tricked so they're gonna give you that on the radio like that radio shit and the shit that they pushing in front of your face is like it's an agenda why they pushing that in front of you and not the real shit that you need to hear no. Yeah. Speaking of that, right? Like, how y'all feel about uh, the mayor of New York City coming out recently saying he was trying to ban drill music? Yeah, that's crazy. Um, how y'all feel about that? Do y'all like? I, I seen a little um, Instagram post and shit with Maino and them. They all got up with him. All the artists and stuff. It's supposed to be from Brooklyn and this and that. I think that's dope. You know what I'm saying I think that's a step in the right direction. You know what I'm saying because overall, like, it ain't just New York. I'm saying right. if New York don't got it, Chicago still got it. And even if they ban the music, niggas is still in the streets doing what they do. So what they ban? How they banning it? Like from radio, radio, yeah. trying to get YouTube to not fucking be able to like. Mind you, look, it's real shit. <laughs> I mean, in the UK, right? In the UK, yeah, they crazy. got that shit banned on YouTube. You oh, can't word? have ain't no drill, none of that shit. How long on, they don't had it? Like, yeah, that. Niggas I don't. I can't tell you exactly, but I know it's recent. Like, you know what I'm saying? Busy. Like, cause niggas is like, fuck that's too much. Yeah. Cause my wife over there, right? Like, guns is totally illegal. Yeah. So niggas be getting stabbed up way more over oh, there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got to give it to the niggas in the UK. They a little bit more real than us. Mm. You got to get up close to the nigga and, mm, mm, yeah. mm, and look at a nigga while you're doing it. You can't be across the street. I feel like if they going to ban that sh shit, like, all right, I'm going to say this and then tell me how y'all feel. Mm -hmm. So if they going to ban that drill music and shit like that, ban shit like police shooting niggas. From being shown on t on on the internet too, like that's the thing. <clears throat> I don't I don't I, honestly that shit like I don't if you got I don't know for me I don't want to see that like yeah. I don't want to see nobody that look like me get shot down. I don't want to see whether either, it's right? in a rap video or it's from a, it's from the police. I don't want to see either, you know right? I mean? But think about it. But the more you see if it, the more did, natural and the did, more. If we didn't see that shit with George Floyd. Yeah, we wouldn't. Yeah, we wouldn't have got that right. reaction oh. from the world that we got, I, I'd bro. Rather right. the, I don't want to see it. I don't want to see it. I tell you, it's fucked up on all like, levels. Like, mind you, right? I hate, I hate, to, I hate to say this to you. Yeah. That wasn't two things to compare, but I completely understand what you're saying. But I don't think those are the two things that you should compare like that. Why? Because it's different. Like the drill music, these niggas is talking about. They want to ban it because these niggas is actually talking about. What they actually did the niggas in these yeah, songs yeah. and what they gonna do the niggas in these songs. Right. That's. That's creating a whole different thing. Now, mind you, so now these us, police might be talking now, the same now shit. Now look, us within it, themselves. It is a bigger. Going. It's a crazy influence, though. Just like putting them off of his heads. Imagine us just sitting around listening to it all day, all day. Like you know what I'm saying, like right, right. let me be wrong with yo. No, there, there, there are two like, issues that need to be addressed, mm -hmm. but they oh, they not they not even the same category. Now, Real talk. I, I feel you. I ain't trying to diss you. Try to even mm -hmm. take away from what you're saying because what you what you said as far as like them showing. Us just getting killed on TV the way they do all the time, mm -hmm. that shit ain't good. And, right. and that, that can create a desensitization of people yeah. to seeing that. Real shit. Right, right. But you know, it's, it's, it's different yeah, than that it, yeah. than the, with this music issue, for real, for real. These little niggas is running around here actively saying, yo, this is what I did to your homie. Mm -hmm. Fuck your dead homie. Yeah, so I'm going to do to you yeah. when I see you. Yeah. Right, like they right, doing that right. and they song mm -hmm. and they actually doing this shit. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And like, and they get influenced off that from watching other, other niggas do that shit, yeah, shit like yeah, that, yeah, and yeah. internet, and you know niggas like both just ways trying is, to get love. Both ways, it's like you said, it's just different, but it hurts the same way. Like I don't want to see these little niggas shooting each other down and killing each other. I don't want right. to see the police shooting niggas down and killing us. So either way, it's like maybe the same emotion, almost not the same stories, but the same emotion. So it all kind of got to be on the same level of what you're going to do about it. They got to just, like, just, that just comes down to this censor in the internet period. Because, like, mind you, don't get me wrong, right? Yeah. I don't like to see a video where somebody black getting killed. But I'm going to take you to the world store right now and show you some white motherfuckers getting shot. Some Asian mm -hmm. niggas getting shot. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. all race, colors, and creeds. So it's like, when you come to this censor in the internet, like, I, don't, I think it's going to be hard for them to censor yeah. the, the, the rap shit. Cause it's freedom of speech or whatever, oh, yeah. but to to <laughs> not 
let niggas actively be promoting that shit on certain things like a radio shit and be playing none of that shit. It should be wild. You feel me? Yeah. Like, especially in New York City where it's actively happening and these niggas is dying. Like, yo, it was yeah. like a two to three period where like, yeah, that's like this kid over here gets killed from this side. Oh, yeah. This kid gets killed from this side. This kid can't get, I mean, like, I'm tired of that. Like, I'm not even from there. Yeah. And I know if you're from, if you're from there, it's really actively affecting yeah. people in these neighborhoods. Absolutely. They know these kids. They grew yeah. up with these motherfuckers. Like, because you know how this shit is nowadays. One minute you can be on the block chilling, rapping with your homies. Next day, nigga, you were in the next internet sensation. Yeah. You out of here. You feel me? Yeah. So, niggas actually know these cats. And these kids are getting killed over dumb shit, nigga. Over what block you from? Yeah, what gang you down? Like, like, some of the gangs is like, for instance, some of the crips is with bloods, like as far as like yeah, the whole school and like I that mean, shit, it's I like, think it's, it's a big mess. It's mad man. crazy. Everything is messy. Mess. Even but, you know like, what it is? Ain't like, no OGs no more. Nobody respects the yeah. OGs. Nobody gives a fuck about what these older niggas got to say yeah. no more. And guess what? We them older niggas now. So they don't give a fuck about what we got to say, bro. They don't care. We don't care. They don't care how we approach it. I know some younger niggas that fuck with me. That I act like they listening to me while they while I'm sitting there trying to kick the little shit I try to kick to them. But as soon as I'm gone, it's probably man, fuck with that nigga talking about. Yeah, oh yeah, you that's how a mean? lot of niggas be. But a lot of niggas too don't like feel like they don't they want to blend in with the young niggas. You know what I'm saying? So they like won't tell them the right thing to do. I'm trying to pull out the game. Or niggas want them under them. You know what I'm saying? You yeah, know how that shit goes. It's, it's a big mess, but in a, in, a, in the same breath, like the streets is a mess, mm -hmm. and the government is a fucking mess. So and that's the thing about it's it. It's all a mess. They so, it's and they want to point fingers yeah. at us, and we could be pointing fingers at them. You they know for, what I mean? They force the motherfuckers to be in this maze, basically. Yeah. Or, yeah. Man, I mean, it's, it's, it's the created, world we live in, man. created these monsters. And it's on us to try to do our best, man, be our best, and let's try to rise above it, man. That's it. You feel me? Like, mm -hmm. And definitely, man, we want to instill the right things into our kids, man, so they don't, they don't get deterred. Mm -hmm. They don't get, like, taken off course. By the things that's going on around them on the internet, the mm -hmm. things that's going around on it in the music. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, gotta, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta teach your kids the right way, man. It's on us. We that generation now that's raising kids. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so, no, that's a fact, man. I know my son the other day, man. Well, I probably wasn't the other day, like probably a couple of weeks ago. Mm -hmm. And it was just like randomly, we was chilling, and my son, like, was like, Dad, um, he was like, Damn, what did he say? Dad, um, oh, well, he was like, Dad, I'm lucky. Yeah. And I was like, I was like, why you say that? <clears throat> like, out of the random, he's like, uh, I'm just lucky that I got a father like you to teach me the stuff that you be teaching me. Like, mm -hmm. I know, like, basically none of my friends mm -hmm. got a father like that to be telling me, mm -hmm. telling them what you be telling me. Like, right. you be dropping a lot of knowledge on me. And I'm like, like, I was damn near speechless. Oh, yeah. Like, and he I felt too. like my job was done. Like, yeah. not done. Nah, you got to keep going. Like, you got to keep going. Like, you got to keep going. Yeah. For him at 12 to even be saying that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That it's just world. like, okay, I know whatever happened with me, yeah. he going to live with that forever, knowing that, okay, my pops is on that shit. He was telling me what about life and everything that needs to be yeah. talked about nah. to a young man. But just he, the fact that he, I'm sorry to cut you off, please. The fact that he already understood it. As you giving them jewels, mm -hmm. bro, you got to You never supposed to stop. Keep yeah, giving them yeah. to the end. Yeah. And he going to keep absorbing them shits. You right. feel me? Like, for real. Oh, well, yeah. We were, we we rocking, man. That's yeah. why, like, you know, people be like, how your son doing? I don't want to be cocky, but I'm like, my son going to be great. Now, my he got you, me man. as a father. I'm like, not about to even sit here and try to like front. I'm not even, like. This ain't even no front right here, shit. right? Like, I love, love to hear my niggas, my brothers, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like, having that kind of relationship with their kids because. Like, mind you, like, I talk to my son, but my mm. son don't live in the household with me. Yeah, yeah, that's My amazing. son don't even live in the same state as me, no, bro. that's major. You feel me? Yeah, that's So, like, I pray that, I, like, that God allows me the opportunity. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to work I'm gonna work my ass off, too, you know what I'm yeah, saying, to yeah, get yeah. to that. But allow me the opportunity, man, to, to be in my son's life that way. Yeah. Where I can yeah. move from here to Hartford, where, mm. my, where, my, where my baby mom live, yeah. to be able to have my son on a regular with me where it don't affect his day to day, what he got going on, right. or my shit either. We can co 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 mend yeah, them shits, yeah. cause bro, I love to hear that that's, man. Like, that's important, like, man. like, like real talk. And this, this, this is gonna, I don't want it to sound fucked up, but I'm jealous of that. 
Nah, I want I, I want that. my son to be that. able to tell me the same thing too. Yeah, yeah. you I feel mean, me? Because I got so much game to give him. But it's and, so many layers of stuff you even got to go through to even be in your son's life to be able to talk that talk. Like she's not keeping you know me saying? from him. It's just like I'm not even saying that. I'm, I'm not putting that. I'm not putting that business out. But like you said, it's so many layers to that. Like you don't even know what I gotta like yeah, fight through mad, mentally myself saying, to even like, stay in the position to even be. Talking to my son like yeah. that, you know I, what I mean? Nah, nah, I, so you know what? To, to, to a degree, yeah. I do. Yeah, yeah. Because I, I, oh, yeah, I, I fought, I yeah, fought yeah, to, try, yeah. to try to try to make sure I was there yeah. forever. Mm-hmm. But hey, man, shit don't work yeah, out like that. Like, you know nah, what I'm saying? Trust me, I got a daughter, man. She's 20 in college, man. Like, like I said earlier, Kanye said something about, you know, his situation with Kim that resonated with me. And I was like, I know what that shit feel like. Enlighten you feel us. Me? Like, Enlighten us. What was that? Like... I forgot who he was talking to in that interview. I forgot the dude's name. He's like probably one of them like MTV or whatever type of dudes, whatever. Mm-hmm. He was being interviewed just as recently and Kanye was saying that he went to go pick up his kids from daycare and the security stopped him like, you can't come in here. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And that, that shit literally happened to me. Me and her mom went through something. I went to go pick up my daughter. I went to go see her at daycare. And when I walk up, they walk out, the people from the daycare walk out and stop me like, you can't come see her. That shit. Yeah, that shit definitely. That like feeling mine, right there, bro. Mine and I can't. I created, uh-huh. like, you, first of all, I ain't only, I'm you? trying you not to use came... foul language. Yeah. But you, you in between something that I created right now. Mm-hmm. You know what that feels like to tell, have a stranger? I don't even know you. Yeah. That and you a stranger. Shit. Yeah. Like, like, I could have, like, mentally wowed out and... You know what I'm saying? So, salute Kanye. And you could have been paying for the daycare, all that. Oh, you trying to tell me right. I, can't I can't come. see my to, child. Like, you like, were wilding, bro. Like, and that's the thing about... And it ain't got nothing to do with the child. Yeah. They don't never have nothing to do with the child, though. So, like, don't put that child in the middle right. of the person that created, to help create that yeah, child. I was about to say, it sucks not to cut you off. Yeah, it gotta, sucks because on the strength, like, you got to respect the person that's working because, right. like... Safety first type yeah, shit, yeah, but as far as the parent and shit or whatever. Yeah, that's, that, that was the most hurtful thing. Yeah. One of the most hurtful things I ever dealt with in my life. Somebody telling me that I can't go see my daughter. But you know what's crazy though, right? And like, it ain't her mama. Yeah. You know what's crazy, right? Like I hate to, before the police. I hate, come to, throw yeah. the, I hate to throw the racial aspect into it, right? But it's more apt to happen to somebody of our skin tone. Oh, absolutely. Because I believe I believe that if a white man, like you don't get me wrong, they probably still be like the same kind of feelings. Mm-hmm. But as soon as the white man be like, oh, I'm going to call my lawyer, yeah, yeah, that, yeah. all that shit ceases to exist. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Like, for yeah. real, for real. And, you know, and, but thank it's God we so got through that. Let me shout out to my baby mom. Thank God we got through that. I want to bring up another situation on top of that. Okay. It's my baby mom. You know, eventually, you know, we got through whatever. We still have our hardship dealing with each other. But, you know, the child comes first. But, you know, she hit me up. It's like, hey, I'm taking you off child support. Uh, so yeah, when dope. I went down to court, and, you know, and we I'm working on just my because shit. Of, just because of the racial thing, like it's just crazy that you say that we in court. My baby mom trying to take me off child support, which I never should have been, but that's all another story. Mm-hmm. She's here, like, hey, I want to take him off child support. The judge is fighting for me to, to keep me on there. Damn. Yeah, like telling my baby mom, like, you sure, you sure you want to do this? Mm-hmm. My baby mom's like, yeah, and I'm just. Like, for me, I know what it is. I don't know if my baby mom knew what it is, but I know what it is. They need this black man to stay on child support to keep Mm -hmm. him suppressed as much as possible. And why are you trying to take him off child support? Yeah. Yeah. So did she she say, oh, you must be doing something right? Like... Yeah, I'm doing like, something right. Like, it ain't possible? Like, it's not possible? Like, like you know what I mean? So that whole I, racial thing right there interject? is definitely a, can a I interject? point, Cause man. As a black man who has probably never been on child support, right? Mm-hmm. I have three children with the same woman. And I'm going to keep it a dollar. Like, and this is no knock. That's why I'm going to give you your props. You're probably going to watch this. I thought my baby mom would be the type to put my black ass right. on child support. Right. She never did that. Salute. She never had to do that. Salute. You know why she never had to do that? Because when we broke up, I said, listen, yo, we're not together no more. This is how much I think I should I should give you a month. Because yeah. I know you can't do it by yourself. You still got to raise these kids. Yeah, yeah absolutely. You, I, you know what I'm saying? I'm not I'm never going to act like, like it's not my responsibility to make sure I take care of them financially. Yeah. You feel me? So this is what we agreed on. Bro, I ain't been with her in eight years now. 
I ain't never been on child support. Mm. I ain't never missed the... And if I did, I made it back up right, the next right, month right, right, type right. shit. You feel me? Like, like, just give me this little second to do this. Let me get this right. Bong, 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 you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And nigga, now, like, and most, 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 most of that, I had a job. I don't motherfucking job no more. Right. Still holding it down. Right, right. Still need no time to on me. Wait, thank salute God, that. nigga. You feel me? Salute to For that. real, salute to that. And salute to <laughs> niggas who do, did get, get on child support, nigga, and figured it out. Because guess what? Even though I wasn't on child support, it damn near like I was. It was like I was. Right, right. I, right. I still had to pay my baby mom this certain yeah. amount of money every motherfucking month. You feel mm -hmm. me? Because that's our responsibility as men. You feel but me? Most of the time, it ain't easy. Most when of you the got time, a job. it's not even about the money and the child support. It's just the fact that. Some people just be bitter, yeah, and they know that they can use that, and they can use that yeah. against and you. I'm not yeah. saying I'm keep not, you around, even yeah. to keep you talking to them. And I'm not, yeah, even to keep you talking. <laughs> yeah, to and I'm not saying that they all around. do that, but in some. But cases, then there's some niggas that really don't do shit, so yeah. they gotta get put on that shit. Too, then there's some niggas yeah, that don't do fact. shit, and some baby moms don't even care that they don't do shit, and they don't even fact, try too. to put them on child support. So every situation is definitely different. So those we not gonna group that in all baby moms. Yeah, we're not trying to diss baby moms. Please, ladies, please don't beat us up. We not. Right. Trying to get, we're not trying to do that. You feel nah, me? We're I love not my doing baby that. Baby mamas. Word. <laughs> Shout out to the baby mamas. Shout out so. to the baby mamas. <laughs> <laughs> Mama. Nah, yeah. but um, that was a good topic right there. I really liked that one. That was dope. That was dope. That was dope, man. But so um, y'all just dropped the uh, the video. Yeah, yo, I get out my mind. Right right yo, word my mother. I was about yo. Listen, thank you, thank you for doing that because it was gonna look real crazy if I just transitioned something about me, right? <laughs> uh, <laughs> nah, a salute to that video, man. Make sure y'all go it? check it out. The preview, man. The preview. The preview, one man. Black Dave Huss. Sosa Vasquez. Listen, we've been getting a lot of good response, man. It's been like a, it's been like a day, a day and a half, almost two, almost two days now. Go watch that video. That we that the video has been out, man. We've been getting a lot of love, man. We appreciate the love, man. Look, go this stream is, the song. This all I know, right? I've been making music for a long time. I've never made a penny off of music. So just the love that y'all showing, the likes, mm -hmm. the shares, just y'all going to listen to the song. That's the currency that I need right now. Facts. You feel me? So just keep showing the love. Keep streaming the song. It's on all streaming platforms. I rock with Apple Music. If you got Spotify, it's on Spotify. I got Tidal too. But if you got Tidal, it's on Tidal. Go rock with us, bro. It's there. It's other songs out there. Mark Black's, of Mines, I Think Like Vegas, bro. Show some support to the people that you rock with. If you rocking with the 108 Podcast, man, we do more than just this podcast. Yes, sir. You feel me? We we out here. Go to the FS uh, uh, twenty four store. Yep. It's, it's my man got clothes out here. Talk Wild merch, bro. Pull up it, on Mark Black, man. Mark yeah. Black got merch, it's bro. Coming, it's the, coming. The ball and jacket, bro. Bring it bro. out on you, nigga. You know what I'm saying? We only fear God. Mm, it's coming. Yeah. You feel me? Can't wait to those. That who that who merch? It's coming, yeah. bro. Listen, we out here, man. Like support. Like I love it, man. I'm here for for the support, man. I'm here to Facts. to keep putting this work in. To keep showing my face on the regular. To let you know that we out here, you feel me? Mm -hmm. We out here, you feel me? Niggas, niggas is out here. Oh nah, I'm Yo, good on that. Make sure, you, nah. make sure y'all go to the YouTubes. Molly and Mind Films and Entertainment. Facts. Big Vision Concepts. Facts. Watch the podcast. Watch all the videos. Facts. Watch all the comedy shit. Anything we doing, period. You know what I'm saying? It's coming, go, man. A lot of go, more shit coming. Go stream our shit. I'm talking about the songs. The songs. I'm saying on all streaming platforms, but also we got the podcast on the streaming platforms too. Yeah. Facts. Man. So in all the Hold links, down. Be, the links to everything will be in the video. Be at the yeah. bottom of the video, man. Yeah. So listen, subscribe to the channel. Mm -hmm. Subscribe to this channel, Big Vision Concepts. Yeah. Go to Molly and Minds Films and subscribe to that joint. Man, show love. Go follow us on every social media platform out there and show love, man. Keep rocking with us, man. Keep we, sharing our shit, man. We're not going to stop. Might be a Tell bump a in the road here and there, but we're not going to stop, bro. Yeah. Listen, right? I'm going to say this. I'm going to say this publicly, right? I quit every other week. <laughs> every other week, I quit. <laughs> Nigga, I quit. But guess what? Clap it up. Guess what? He quit. Guess right what? Now. I quit. I'm about to quit right now, nigga. You feel me? But guess what? Nigga, be back next week, though. Facts, facts, Fuck facts. you talking about, nigga. One way podcast, nigga. We here no. to make our fucking mark, man. Mm -hmm. We've been playing for too long, man. We know how we've been know how to do this shit, but we just wasn't doing it. You feel me? Like facts. God gave us the opportunity, nigga. Today I got time. <laughs> Fuck you facts. talking about, nigga. Salute to my niggas not here. All right, man. Wait, yo.
Dutch Yo, Money. Yo, word of mother, Ray. Mafe. I just was building with Ray earlier, man. Ray ass dumb funny, man. Ray ass had me crying. <laughs> word of my mother, man. Ray J is a fool, bro. Like, for real. Yeah, funny, Waze, man. me and Waze was talking yesterday. Waze is dumb funny. I love my, I love my niggas, man. Yo, for real. Mm-hmm. Salute to everybody. But we've been building a lot more lately, man. I can't wait to get the whole 108 in this motherfucker. That's what I'm about to say. Once, let's, you make know a, me? let's make a milestone, right, for like one of our videos to hit a thousand views, and then we'll bring the team on. Yeah, then y'all get like the, we'll introduce y'all to the rest of the team. And mind you, I'm gonna keep it a dollar, right? Like, like for real, I'm very appreciative. Like, yo, for us to just have started out of nowhere, mm-hmm. like we've been keeping it steady, nigga, averaging like 400 something views. Yeah. Every time we drop one of these things, Life man. So, so like, that, that's good, Girl, man. This would be a, a, yeah. a fledgling podcast. <laughs> you feel me? We're a fledgling podcast, yeah. and they be getting four hundred consistent views. Yeah. And we only gonna get better. We only gonna figure out how to do better things, get oh, better yeah, guests. Absolutely, absolutely. You know what I mean, and so even those four hundred gonna rise up. Yeah. You know Facts, the man. That's already there. Keep rocking with us, man. One hundred eight, man. Like, do we have to do the little thing that we did in the little ad? Uh, I don't even know which one. I think I had the O. I don't think, what yeah, I had. I had the O. Yeah, the I had the O, nigga, like this. You feel me? <laughs> we lit. You know what I'm saying? But, yo. um, What you want to get into? I want to get into. Uh, what you want to get into, man? The hood stories, man. Yeah, we got it. The hood stories. The hood stories, it's, man. Killer time. Nah, Kill already, nah, <laughs> already went. Kill already went. And got, mind you, like, the, the, the last joint, you know what I'm saying? We had a guest. So anytime we have a guest, we're gonna make the guest do it. Yeah. So this time, this time, yellow nigga, you up the back. You feel me? I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go last and shit. But this I don't time know you up the back. Talk about, but nah. <laughs> Niggas was telling me talk about the situation that happened when I was like 12 years old. 12? 12? 12 years old. <laughs> That's a good hood story. I was living in the hood. He was Quincy living Street. in the hood. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Hood story. I was living in the hood, Quincy Street. Shout out to my hood niggas. Nah, man. Quincy and My Orleans. Union is. Yeah, Union and Orleans, all that. But anyway, I was 12 years old, so obviously I'm a little kid. Got a couple of my cousins at the crib. We chilling and shit. That's how we do. You know what I mean? Since early. You know what I mean? Was you there? No, I wasn't there that weekend. Uh-huh. I happened to miss that weekend. Uh-huh. Uh, trust and believe I'd have had some. I didn't been adding to the story, but I know the story like <laughs> right, back right. my hand. Like niggas said, day. my crib always been a spot, so niggas Facts. over there just chilling and shit. And... At this time, my mom got a boyfriend. And you know how boyfriends are. They trying to get on your good side. I'm the oldest kid and I'm a boy. (laughs) So they trying to get on your good side and shit. You know what I'm saying? (laughs) I think he even might have let niggas get liquor before and shit like that. But anyway, fuck all that shit. And not to even talk shit about him because he's... He's dead now. You know what I'm saying? But he is good people. It's like I fucked with him. You know what I'm saying? But he used to drink and shit. So... Long story short, he used to be drunk, and at this time, you know what I'm saying, he over there, and I guess he, he gave us a ride and shit like that. We chilling, da-da-da. He let us, matter of fact, that's what's so crazy. I forgot about that. He actually was driving us around and then let us drive with him. So we was in the car with him at first, you know what I'm saying? Wow. So when, yeah, so at, after a while, we go back to the crib, and this nigga ends up letting us get the car. I'm saying, what you mean? like, you let, niggas, let you all the, the young niggas, yeah. all the little twelve year old niggas, eleven yeah. niggas was like nine probably. <laughs> That's it, it, crazy. Was a, it was a nine year old. Yeah, I think Ray was this like nigga nine. was twelve. Yeah, nigga God was like damn, eleven. had to be like thirteen. You older than Ray? Yeah, um, nigga. Yeah, I'm yeah. older. Than yeah. We all yeah. older than Ray. Yeah. Ray is two Fuck. years younger than us. I don't, I ain't know. We all damn. still look young. Yeah. Ray, yeah. Ray, two and a half years younger than me. Hell yeah, Ray like he two years and like a few months younger than Mark Black. So mind you, this nigga lets us get the car. I ain't gonna hold you. Niggas is happy as fuck. N- mind you, what's crazy, it's a stick. Mind what? Oh, that nigga so was that's, wet. That's you why I remember we, yeah, we was practicing beforehand. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so basically, long story short, he was grabbed the joint. And they one know. of us... Wait, one hold, of hold, us on, hold on, hold on. So when he gave y'all the whip, yeah. where did he go? He went back in the crib. <laughs> this is us pulling back up to the crib. You know what I'm saying? Probably them niggas like, yo, yo, listen. I'm about to get that in there. Nigga, I'm, I'm about to let this little nigga get the whip, nigga. I'm in there once right. I get this little nigga the whip. What you talking about? Oh, my gosh. All right, Nah, that. I think it was, it was people at my crib and shit. He was just drunk and shit and just trying to, like, get on our good side. Oh, yeah, just, exactly. I'm going to let this little nigga yeah, get the whip, of, nigga. Oh, I'm yeah, in I'm in there. Like, yeah, I'm in there. I thought you just mean, like, you trying to slide off. 
No. Probably too. Though. Anyway. Right, right. So mind you, um, <laughs> mind you. So one of us, which it was either Brandon, you know what I'm saying. That's Brandon Brown, right? Fuck, Brandon Brown. Oh shit. My nigga Brandon Brown, man. Shout oh, out my right. nigga Brandon. Yep, it was Brandon Brown because I think Moosey was nice with the whip too. My cousin Moosey from Bridgeport and shit came Moosey. up there at that time. So he was nice with the whip too, I think. But I think at this time it was Brandon. So Brandon's driving. We all out in the streets a little bit. And I mean, we ain't even get too far, I'm going to be honest, at this time. You know what I'm saying? We wanted to get some gas or some shit, I think. I don't know. I forgot what it was. We see police. We like, yo, let's take a little, I don't know, shit might be hot. We go take a little ride, and it seemed like they following niggas to a point, right? Nah, nigga. New Jersey when we drive. get like, <laughs> when we get kind of near around the crib, them niggas is following us. Mm. My niggas, my um, Brandon speeds, makes the turn. Niggas about to hop out. Basically, that's the plan to a point. You know what I'm saying niggas basically crash into a snowbank, though. You know what I'm saying everybody hop out. <laughs> Some niggas hop, go this way. Some niggas go towards my crib, mind you. It's like a, it's like an intersection, but it ain't like a main street. It's like you know what I mean, just yeah. streets cutting in the hood. You know what I'm saying so, mind you, it's Tell like them this. Tell streets though. All right, so, know. so this road. is Orleans, and this is Quincy. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So we right here, crashing to the snowbank right there. It used to be a gate right there. It used to be a building right here. My aunt lived in this building, I but that. I lived right here. If you know the one way. Quincy got a one way yeah. at the top of it. I lived right there in like 23 or some shit. I can't remember the number. But anyway, long story short, niggas run that way. Some niggas run to my Aunt Pat crib. Rest in peace to her. You know what I'm saying? All right, Pat. You know what I'm saying? Moosey run to her crib. Um, I forgot, but long story short, Moosey got chased by the police. He got punched by the police. But my story is, <laughs> when, we hop, when we hop out, we run into my mom's crib. Nigga, it's snowing outside. Not okay. snowing, but it, it's it's snowy, it's icy, yeah, all that yeah, shit. Yeah. Niggas is slipping and shit. Not, mind you, when we come in, one of my cousins, my cousin Prez, you know I mean? he's coming, he's basically outside or he's Happy coming outside. Happy belated Prez, your shit is yeah. fast. I'm saying he. So when he's, mind you, the police is chasing us, but they coming like. I mean, we hopped out the they car already. They on foot or they in the car? They in the cars, but they coming yeah, out they coming now. Out now. I'm they hopping out. They yeah, coming chasing now. I niggas, ain't there. I niggas running to the crib. Mind you, Brandon runs to the back of my yard. The police end up catching him, beating him up real quick. Now, I mean, he was hiding in the snow. Yeah, this is what they like used to whoop niggas' asses. Yeah. If they no got to run, they fight, mm -hmm. they busting They was whooping ass back then. This is in the 90s. They was whooping ass. <laughs> Prez Trust. got arrested. He got Why? hit with a flashlight. Facts. Did he get arrested, arrested? Yeah, he got arrested. He got hit with a flashlight. He had the little mark on the shit. He up. wasn't even involved. You know what I'm That's saying? He was crazy. at the crib. He was me sitting and Ray on the couch. J. That's busted up. This is the thing, me and Ray J. No, no, he wasn't sitting on the couch. Prez was outside. He was outside? He was outside and we was running. And oh, so y'all niggas went and sat down, got away. Yeah. And they grabbed, they grabbed Prez up. But so let me tell you this. Because I think they almost hit us or something. I think Ray J slid and almost hit into a car or some shit anyway. So mind you, like I said, me and Ray J, the main ones running from the car to my crib this way. We running, because Brandon went to the back. We run up in the crib. First thing I do, I got a big-ass puppy coat or some shit on. Soon as I get in the crib, I'm taking... Soon as I get to the couch, I play it so smooth. I, I sat like I was just there. <laughs> I pull my shit right under me, nigga, and just threw that shit to the... So fast, nigga, like... You know what I mean? Right. Played it like I was there. Talk to me, talk to me, talk to me. <laughs> like, I what you say? I, I was just talking, making fake conversation. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> this nigga Ray J. Who you told that to? Right, we Angelina. Right, we Yo, because I remember, I remember this. This yeah. is Ray J. Say we running oh, in, right? Shit. I just see you leaving Ray, Ray, Ray come, earlier. I'm telling soon you. Soon as Ray J sit down, <laughs> the cops. I'm t uh, not to put him on blast. We was low kid. <laughs> we was low. I'm talking about like it was like they was on his ass, and then it was oh, like straight from sit crib? down to. They coming. Oh, like, oh, not me? Shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they yeah. grabbed his ass and leaned like, my brother, da, da, da. I'm just playing it all, nigga. Da, da, da. They grabbed them, da, da, da. This Uncle, man. Uncle Marcus, I've been on the couch. Nigga, I've been on the couch. <laughs> I'm fucking <laughs> chilling, nigga. So long story short, yeah. They grabbed niggas up. A couple niggas got fucked up, da, da, da. Damn. Ooh, he probably got cussed out a little bit. Mom found out, shit like that. 
So you ain't never got caught. I ain't never he get, get caught. caught. Play the smooth nigga. When niggas knew what oh, it yeah. was, though, niggas knew Mark Black had all parts in that too. Uh, you know what I'm saying? When, when it came down to the come down, niggas knew Mark Black had parts. But he didn't get caught. You know what I'm saying? That's Damn, funny. I want to say his name, but... He said what? And Lena didn't snitch. Oh. R.I.P. to my dude. You feel me? Yeah, nah, facts. R.I.P. to, to, to the OG. Mm-hmm. Mind you, I just seen Ray and Lena earlier. So word of mother, I was telling y'all I miss y'all. That's Cause so we used to funny. be with each other a goddamn weekend at this nigga goddamn house when we was growing up. For real, for real. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Love my cousins to death. We are like brothers and sisters to keep it a hundred with you. Yeah. Yeah. I love how this generation was raised. Nah, facts. I was at Ray J crib for the, um what was that? What was that? Super Bowl? S- nope. Yeah, Super Bowl. Mm-hmm. And his daughter was in the kitchen talking to Lena. And um Word? Yeah, and she was like it was just me and his daughter in there and she was like Who's over there? And then, um, his daughter was like, just a, just um, family, like his cousins. Mm-hmm. And she was like, who's there right now? And then she was like, I was like, killer. And she was like, killer? And she was like, oh, yeah, I know killer. She was like, yeah, now you met your cousin. <laughs> so it was like, oh, yeah, that's what's yeah, up. Yeah, nah, nah, that's dope. That's, that's love that's right dope. there. Nah, because like, niggas right. know how we give it up. And you're like, put mm-hmm. like this, man. We said this before, we're going to say it now. again. If you come into this family... You gonna fuck around and stay, man. Niggas gonna keep you, even if like we're talking, right? And One I hate way to say, or another, there's, I there's certain motherfuckers, <laughs> and not saying that niggas that like we don't fuck with, but certain other generations of motherfuckers, certain motherfuckers might have stopped fucking with niggas, and certain other motherfuckers still fuck with them because niggas you've been around forever. Yeah. You feel me? Like, it is what it is, man. But it's that 108, man. That, definitely it's that 108, man. You feel me? It's that Carter shit, though, too. Yeah, you feel me? Yeah, yeah. But Mark Black, man, that was a good-ass motherfucking story. Thank that you for, for sharing. You know what I'm saying? That Hopefully no funny. nobody gets offended when they mm-hmm. see this story in here. We meant no offense. If you That's got your ass whooped by the police, talk, hey, man, if it would have happened talk in the, talk two, talk the to 2000s, me. you might have got some money for it, but yeah, not yeah, back I in the 90s. I should have got some money for this shit. <laughs> nigga, some other shit. Yeah. Facts, oh, man. Facts. But um, man, yeah, man, like, like love, this has been a good man. episode, man. I think we did our thing this episode, man. Absolutely, mm-hmm. man. We do our thing regardless <clears throat> if we just do our thing. I think we do our you thing, man. I mean? But like, we do our thing. Y'all mm-hmm. niggas got me out here calling niggas for weed. Oh yeah, yeah I heard your pothead now. Nah, I ain't no pothead, but I got an urge. Now. You got an urge, you, you know what I'm saying? Back. Little tickle. So, sir, I'm tr- slowly transitioning. Mm-hmm. I'm here. I'm hey, yo. Shout mm-hmm. out to everybody that fuck with us, man. Like I said, man, definitely check that video out. The preview and go That's stream. Right you know I'm saying we need that support. You know what I'm saying? Definitely y'all need that support. Put it in y'all playlists. If y'all got playlists, tell a friend. We got a lot of shit coming. Facts, 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 facts. You want to close us out, man? You Listen, know what man. I mean? It ain't right. If you, you know what I mean? You Listen, close us out, man. 108 Podcast, your mans, your boy, Dave Hustle. You feel me? We got Think Like Vegas, Mark Black. Man, this is... this is. I, think, I, I, I don't even know how to say how many members of 108 because it's like, it's a lot. But there's only three, it's three of the members, bro. It's so many more members of 108 coming. Mm-hmm. You feel me? We gonna have them pull up, man. Fun, man. One at a time. Maybe everybody at once. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We gotta figure yeah. it out, man. Like, cause right now where we shooting at, I don't think anybody can fit. Mm-hmm. You feel me? But we gonna when we gonna get it right, man. When, when it gets nice outside, we might take this shit outside with it. Yeah. You never know. That shit for real. You feel me? You never know, man. But just rock with us, man. Follow us on social media. Let me get yours real quick. At Think Like Vegas. You already know. If y'all wanna follow my photography page. At Christographer and Big Vision Concepts. Nah, definitely. Like, not if y'all want to, man. Go follow that. Ain't no if y'all want to. I'm trying to force niggas' hands. I mean, nah, shit. Please, what you got for him? Mark Black 413, Molly and Mind Films. <clears throat> Excuse me. Support us, man. Support us, support us, support us. Follow us, subscribe. Hit the notification button. We here. We listen, man. Dave Hustle on Facebook. Everything underscore hustle on everything else. Come rock with your boy. I'm out here. I'm making music. Go uh, stream that, that the new single. You feel me? Mm-hmm. The preview. The Black Hustle 2 on the way. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it's a lot of things coming, man. It's a lot of things yeah. coming. And then, mind you, 
I'm not going to stop. Uh, like I said in my freestyles, I'm on you niggas head tops. Niggas been sending me goddamn um, features to get on all week. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm telling you, you put some shit out, mm -hmm. niggas be like, yo, let me get a feature. Right. Guess what, though? Y'all might have to wait a little second because I'm cooking up other shit. Mm -hmm. But I got y'all. Facts, you know what I'm saying? I got y'all. Go time. But listen, man, one away podcast, man. We in this bitch. We out this bitch. <clears throat> Fuck with us, man. Fuck with us, man. We out of here. Fuck with us, man. You feel me? <laughs> listen, man. Oh, oh, let me that let me that O with it. Ah. Uh, you know what I mean? Yeah. One away podcast. One away podcast, nigga. <laughs>